Morning guys, I'm heading out to milk. I've got my um, my little helper here, Horsey. Um, so last night, you well, cowboy? you're not cowboy. Yeah, yeah. So three, I, I it. you can't change it. We've already got a cowboy. So three weeks ago, we gave Chaz um, 14 eggs, sure dude, to try to hatch. Um, his wife is a teacher at the local elementary school and um, she was gonna do it for a class. So we gave her 14 eggs and hoped for the best. Well, that was three weeks ago. So last night he texted me and said two had already hatched. This morning seven had hatched and almost all of the rest had pipped. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it'd be awesome if all 14 of them hatched, but we don't know. Um, but anything towards 80, 90% fertility would be good. We're ready to go milk. Good job, dude. See, and Do it again. Do it again. All by yourself. There you go. Good job, man. Got to remember, you got to pinch the top first. Got to squeeze at the top and then go down. So you can go like that and then down. Go up really high on that udder. And then you squeeze and squeeze down. I me to pinch it for you? Yeah. Let go, let go. Go ahead, now you squeeze. Good job. We're heading off to church and look, there's a rainbow. It's actually a full rainbow all the way across the sky. Hey guys, well I didn't end up taking much video yesterday, so we're gonna start this over today. It is Thursday, we got co-op, uh, I gotta order pizzas for co-op, it's the last day of co-op, so lots of stuff to do, and I also need to keep milk again today, so let's get to it. Hey guys, it is really bright out. Um, so when we got back on Monday, it was a nice day. Tuesday was picture perfect. It was mid 70s. Um, it was sunny. There was a slight breeze. Like it was as good as you can get, as far as I'm concerned. Um, especially for a spring day. Yesterday kind of nasty because it rained, and then like last night we had heavy winds, heavy rain, thunderstorms, and you guys probably won't be able to see. But remember how I said that I need to fix that? Well, now there's more that needs to be fixed because more stuff blew. So, I'm gonna have to do some repairs to the pig pen. Um, but anyway, it's supposed to be nice today. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be a high of 50. So we're going from 70 to 50. And then I think it's gonna come back up to 60 on Saturday and then back into the 70s. So, such is life. Um, I'm going to enjoy it. This lady's ready to be milked. I'm gonna head out. Also, um, I got my ham technician class study book yesterday. So started reading that. I was reading it in the evening. So when I was inside the house, uh, that's what I was using. That's what I was doing. I was reading that book. I was really like, uh, can you see the flies on her back there? Let's see if we can kill them. Oh, let's put some like that. Um, anyway, so. Um, yeah, I've been reading that, trying to figure out how quickly I can take, see how she's just, hair is just coming off, especially on her back here, just shedding like nuts. And I only have one hand, because I'm using the camera for the other, so this is how I do it when I only have one hand. And then big old clumps fall off. Right, Missy, let's rub your other side. Oh. So she's shedding like crazy. Um, and I'm gonna have to make up some fly spray. This is gonna get really annoying for her. So anyway, hopefully uh, I pick up this ham radio stuff really quickly. 
Um, I'm trying to learn about, you know, all the different. So it's funny because, like, I don't have a whole lot of, I don't have an experience in this at all. So, um, you know, when they talk about two meter band and six meter band, it's kind of all Greek to me. Um, so I'm starting to learn about that. And it, for those of you who don't know, it has to do with the, um, the length of the wave of the band that you're on. So if the wave goes two meters, that's a two meter band. If the, here, let's, get, let's get your foot. Come here, Missy. Let's get your foot. If the band is a 10 meter band, it's uh, a 10 meter wave, I, I believe. Now, if you're a ham, go ahead and correct me. Um, but like I know, well, from when I was reading, like the 10 meter band travels a lot farther, faster, I think. Anyway, it's fun. I'm learning about it. Uh, hopefully I pass the test when I take it. Anyway, I'm gonna get to Milky. So I was just telling people on the live stream, <clears throat> Scout, our dog, was barking at, I don't know if you guys can see him. Let me turn the camera on and see if I can zoom in a little bit. You guys see those birds over there? every year. I believe sandhill cranes uh, pair for life and are monogamous and the gentleman who lived back behind there in that house back over there he would feed them every year. Uh, he has since passed away and I don't believe the new neighbors do it but these guys come back every year and they have I think normally one or two chicks and it's really fun to watch them grow so if that happens this year uh, I will definitely show you guys these wonderful cool birds but they've got like red masks around their eyes. They're really cool looking birds. Hey guys, we are heading to basketball practice, uh, and you can probably hear my neighbor in the background there cutting grass. We need to cut grass very, very badly, but um, I just haven't had any time. I need to get the uh, Cub Cadet. Uh, we've got an inflated tire, it's got a slow leak, so we got to do that. Got to make sure that there's enough oil in it, all that stuff, so I can get the boys started on cutting grass. And then to get caught up, because there's some of the parts of the grass, like if you guys look over there, it's getting really long. I'm gonna have to use the big John Deere and cut it. But we're off to practice. I'll see you guys later. So practice was good. This guy actually came to practice because we had a lot of people that had a, um, a show for their co-op group, so they weren't able to make it. So he came along. Uh, we just dropped off Aqua Boy at swim practice. We're gonna do some grocery shopping and then uh, go back and pick him up. So done shopping. Uh, we're over here at the track. He's uh, we didn't dress warmly enough, so he's got his Scooby-Doo blanket. Uh, I'm just wearing my T-shirt, and uh, we're gonna walk around the track for 20-25 minutes until Aqua Boy is done. And then uh, we'll call it a day. So I hope you guys had a wonderful day where you're at. Uh, we're having a great day here. We're going to finish the day strong. And uh, hopefully this weekend we'll get a bunch of stuff done. We've got a basketball tournament this weekend. I'm trying to figure out when I'm going to be able to start getting some work done in the garden. There is a uh, plant sale that I've bought plants at the last few years. And um, they sell tomatoes and peppers, basil, broccoli, kale, stuff like that. Um, I'm probably going to end up buying some tomatoes from them. Maybe not as many as I normally would, but the tomatoes that I started um, seem like they got a late start, just aren't doing great. So I'm going to probably buy some more tomatoes because um, you can never have too many tomatoes. It's not possible. Anyway, that will be tomorrow that I'd go and buy those and then Saturday's basketball. So it's always busy, but today was the last day of co-op. So we're going to be getting our Tuesday afternoons and Thursday afternoons back for until next September. So that'll be good, right? Anyway, hope you guys had a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I can't make it though. Try. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> <laughs>